Hello, church. Hope you're well, uh, especially after yesterday's storm. That was a maelstrom, was it not? At least in my part of town, it was wicked lightning and thunder and rain and wind. The trees were going crazy. Lots of down limbs in our yard. Fortunately, God was gracious to us. No big damage. Lots of power lines down. Some of you guys went without power for several hours or better part of a day. I hope you're all doing very well. I want to remind you again on this Friday to tend your heart, super important, and even very, very powerful during a time like this COVID age that we're in. We often forget the most important things. Your soul, your mind sitting with Jesus, having time to just be honest with God and to lean into His Word and understand His character and His will is often one of those things that gets pushed out during this time. Hence all of these videos and encouragements to spend some time tending your soul. We've been talking about the Psalms and today I'd like to talk to you about Psalm 49. Psalm 49 was written by the sons of Korah and it is a wisdom Psalm. It says so in the beginning. So I want you to take some time today, perhaps right now, and read through Psalm 49. It's not very long. It won't take you long. Maybe you can read it multiple times. As you, as you read it, you'll recognize some themes in it that are similar to the book of Proverbs, perhaps even the book of Ecclesiastes. It asks some great questions, some big questions. It sets up some contrasts and comparisons. And if you do well to look at your own heart and mind and relationships and life through the magnifying glass of Psalm 49, it will bless you, it will encourage you, it will challenge you. One of my favorite parts of Psalm 49 is uh, always reminds me of a story and it's verses seven and eight. No man can by any means redeem his brother or give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of his soul is costly and he should cease trying forever. My kids and my wife were actually the ones that introduced me to the Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe, the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I'd never read them uh, until they started reading them and engaged me. But one of the stories that I always think of when I read Psalm 49 verses seven and eight is the stone table of Aslan in the opening story, or the, the most famous one, The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, where he, Aslan, the Jesus figure in the story, willingly goes to sacrifice himself on this table as a way of redeeming Edmund, as a way of of winning that particular battle over the White Witch, um, the bigger battle to come later. I always think of that. Uh, No man can by any means redeem his brother or give God a ransom for him. He's costly, he should cease trying forever. But there is an answer, and it comes with the two big, big words that start verse 15, but God. Much has been made of those two words in the scriptures, rightly so. I want those words to resonate with your heart today. There is no redemption of your soul. It's not possible. You can't do it. You can't do it for somebody else. Someone else can't do it for you. No man but God, verse 15, will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. He will receive me. Be encouraged today, my friends. Read this psalm, spend some time in it. Hear God's words to your heart. Ask the big questions that it asks and spend some time just leaning in to God's presence today. Love you. As always, I hope you're well and hope to see you very, very soon.